In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called predicting relative forward and reverse rates of a reaction in dynamic equilibrium. So in this reaction we have, or in this problem, we have a chemical reaction that is in equilibrium, even though Alex is not using the equilibrium arrows. It's telling us quantities of, in this case, the two reactants, although that may vary from one problem to another. And then we're being asked four questions about this particular system. I'm gonna rewrite the chemical equation over here just so that I have a little bit more room to make notes and I'm gonna use the equilibrium arrows for this equation. Now this problem is telling us that we are going to be adding 99 millimoles of H2 and also Cl2 to an empty flask. So I'm gonna make a note of that 99 millimoles of H2 and Cl2 in an empty flask, meaning that there isn't any HCl. So let's take a look at our first question. It wants to know, first of all, what is the rate of the forward reaction? So when it's using the notation forward reaction, um, this means it's referring specifically to the reaction that occurs from the left to the right as the way, uh, in the way that the chemical equation is written. If it's asking about the reverse reaction, it's talking about the equation that would occur from the right to the left as the balanced equation is written. So what's the rate of the forward reaction before any H2 or Cl2 has been added? So if we actually hadn't added any of this yet, what would be the rate of the reaction? Well, there would be nothing present at all. So this, there would be no reactants, there would be no products, there would be no molecules, there, there would be no reaction, there would be no rate, nothing would be happening at all, it would be zero. Second question, what is the rate of the forward reaction? So that's the reaction in this direction after the H2 and the Cl2 have been added. So when the H2 and the Cl2 have been added, there isn't any HCl present yet. And the first thing that this system is going to do is attempt to produce some HCl. So the reaction is gonna proceed pretty quickly in the forward direction from left to right to try to accumulate some HCl. So we wanna eliminate zero because the reaction is definitely taking place. Um, it's also gonna be, again, it's gonna be, a, um, going pretty quickly from left to right. So the first answer here, possible answer, greater than zero, that's reasonable, but less than the rate of the reverse reaction. So that would mean if, if this were true, if this were the answer, that would mean that this reaction is happening, but this reaction in this direction is happening much faster. The reverse reaction is happening much faster. And that doesn't make sense because initially the reaction is gonna be happening pretty quickly in this direction to try to use up these 99 millimoles. So we don't want this answer right here. The second scenario says equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. That's also not a good answer. Um, we want greater than zero and greater than the rate of the reverse reaction. It's moving quickly in this direction to try to accumulate some HCl. What is the rate of the forward reaction at equilibrium? So by definition, when we, were, when we are at equilibrium, the rates of the forward and reverse reaction are equal to each other. So the rate of this reaction and the rate of this reaction are equal. And that is true for all systems in equilibrium, no matter what. So we want greater than zero and equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. Last question, at equilibrium, how much H2 is in the flask? So once we get to equilibrium, we know that we will have used up some of this 99 millimoles of H2, but not all of it. So what we will have left here is some number greater than zero, but less than 99. So some amount of this will be, um, will be, have been used up, so some but less than 99.